Sean Ray with Johnny O. Jackson, former Mr. USA veteran of the pro stage with many victories under his belt. Johnny, no stranger to pro competition here in Sacramento at the Golden State. Uh, we just finished the athletes meeting. What number did you draw, by the way? Um, 168, I yeah, think I was. Which doesn't tell you a whole lot. <laughs> it's not 165. At this stage of the game, I'm sure it doesn't matter a whole lot to you, man. But right. uh, what does matter is getting back to the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia competition, the 50th anniversary. I'm assuming that's why you're here, but you've got to conduct business here tomorrow night. Uh, how are you planning on going about that? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, you know, I'm here to get that Olympia qualification or secure it. Um, but most important to get, uh, get try to get a win before the Olympia. Because uh, last year I went to the Olympia on points. And uh, it's not a even, you know, uh, a level playing field when you get there and every other guy won the show and you're there on points. So I would like to get there on uh, winning a show this year and not getting there on points. So that's why I'm here also. Um, this is the last show to be able to do that. Um, and I'm coming in a tad bit heavier this time, not as initiated as I was, you know, at uh, Europa. Um, and uh, I was really good at, you know, Toronto, but this will be a good defining Johnny Jackson going into the Olympia well, here in Sacramento. Let me remind you of some. I mean, the point system there is in effect for guys that actually can buy some time to change. If you got there on points, for example, after tonight, you have time to make the necessary ch changes by the time September comes to put yourself in a very good position. That said, next week in uh, Tampa, that's the last chance for people right, to qualify. So you actually have right, two opportunities right, if things right. if you get stumbled. I know you don't like the point system, just like Branch, <laughs> but I got to clarify that for the people out there that yep. if it doesn't go your way, you still have another opportunity. Right, and right, if you right. did get there on points next week, you have a, a nice uh, layover to cha make the changes to peak in September, which is not an easy thing to do. But let's say you win tomorrow. How important is that, Mr. Olympia, the 50th anniversary, to be a participant number one, and then in, in terms of just being on stage again at the Olympia? Man, I mean. Uh, there's really hardly any words for it, Sean. Um, seriously, it's uh, I've been to Olympia, you know, nine several different times um, in my career, and uh, this would be far most the biggest and the best uh, a contest ever. You know, I have set foot, you know, or have been honored to be a part of. You know, if I'm blessed enough to get there. So yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to think in my head real quick to think of the words to say what it would mean, but it, it, it means everything. I mean, it's, it defines your career to get there on, you know, such a special uh, event, you know, at the Mr. Olympia. So um, I'm praying and uh, digging, digging in, and get ready to fight for it. Yeah, I just wanted the fans out there to realize that it's important to win a contest like this because that's the only way you get to be a part of a contest like that 50 year anniversary for the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia I know Johnny O. Jackson wants to be there I know Johnny wants to be there but he's got to chalk up the W here tomorrow night we'll find out in 24 short hours it's not going to be an easy feat there's some very good bodybuilders here which will speak volumes to Johnny O. Jackson if he can pull this off and if anybody can pull this off it's former Mr. USA Johnny O. Jackson for Muscular Development I'm Sean Ray MuscularDevelopment.com alright it's been a minute <laughs> Sean right here from MuscularDevelopment.com at the Golden State in Sacramento, California for the Pro Championships with Akeem Williams. Akeem, you're relatively new to the pro scene. Uh, you got your feet wet at the Chicago Pro Championships. Uh, a lot's probably happened for you since that time, and uh, you're clearly here to try to get a W. What do you got to do to win the show? Um, well, for Chicago, I brought a good package, but uh, I still need to bring the title from behind, so I kind of pushed it for this show, and hopefully I brought a good package, and I could probably be in the top five. From the constructive criticism you heard in Chicago, what were the main things that you had to work on in order to get better for this competition well pretty much the front was good is just tighten up from the back you know get uh, my lower back tighter and pretty much just add that Christmas to my back you know that's about it you've got some pretty seasoned professionals you're gonna be competing against you saw Tony Freeman in there and Johnny Jackson I'm sure those are guys you've been looking at in the magazines for many years how does it feel to go on stage with these guys it's crazy because I was uh, telling um, one one morale that um, when I first started thinking about competing one of the MD that I picked a magazine that I picked up was uh, an issue with Johnny Jackson being featured in it and it feels surreal basically to actually step on stage with somebody that I admired for so many years you know I feel I'm like a little kid right now <laughs> yeah. thinking about it I understand I've been there many times feeling that way with the guys that opened the door and paved the way for me those are two veterans that you've got to get through in order to get to the 50th anniversary of the Mr. Olympia uh, weekend how confident do you feel that happening well I did my homework I think I brought a really good package you know and um 
everything else is in the judges' hands, you know, regardless of win, lose, or draw, I'm proud of myself. I made a, a lot of improvements since the New York Pro, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, you definitely uh, opened a few people's eyes as one to watch in Chicago. So we're going to be looking for Akeem Williams here tomorrow night at the Golden State Pro. For MuscularDevelopment.com, I'm Sean Ray. All right. Sean Ray here at the Golden State Pro Championships in Sacramento with Manny Romero out of Florida right now. Manny, were you born and raised in Florida? Or? Uh, I'm from in Venezuela. From Venezuela. Okay, so I just wanted to, the accent threw me off. All right. uh, one of the bigger competitors, along with Tony Freeman, um, you look like you filled out a lot since I've last seen you. How do you feel going into this show? This, well, definitely this year I've been working like a six months uh, since the last show, uh, working in off season, trying to build a little more thickness on my chest. Of course, in my bag and my lats, um, I've been doing well. Um, I take time to, you know, make the mind muscle connection to can do develop a better rounder lats and rounder chest. Uh, doing diet right now, I'm working with Annie Rambo. It's just two years so far, uh, is working very good. Working in diet, definitely this year I going into the diet with the very conditioning. So I think I can do very very well this show. So I'm excited already to go on stage tomorrow. So I'm very happy. I get a contract with ProSoft company right now. I have, I'm on the face of the company. I represent this team. It's awesome. A lot of support from them. TJ, my boss. I want to say thank you so much for the opportunity to be the face of the ProSoft company and Mr. High, of course. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the interview. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see how the guy looks tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you about tomorrow because you know there's a pretty heavy hitters in this show so what what are you looking to accomplish tomorrow what's a victory for you is it first place is it top three is it beating Tony Freeman what is it this is a good question for me because I respect all the guys all the time I know all of us try to be the best all the time and my mind um, but am I own I want to win this show because I always think like if I prepare for the competition you prepare to win right you never prepare because it's important com to compete I prepared to win the show but for me it's gonna be a victory tomorrow because I will compete with myself last year in Tampa mm -hmm. okay. so I have to beat myself I have to show the improvement to the judges I know they will like it and um, that's gonna be the victory for me yep. and that's spoken like a true veteran of the sport but not really a veteran of the sport certainly has his head on uh, straight and has very good perspective on what victory means you can win even without winning but right now we're trying to get that W get to the Mr. Olympia for Manny Romero I'm Sean Ray MuscularDevelopment.com yeah. thanks man All right.